you already know who it is. Back at another video for you guys today. Brand new video. Happy Monday. So, without any further ado, we're going to check out top 10 bloody Chucky kills. Now, uh, I did a Freddy Krueger one last week, I believe, and I don't know why I got copyrighted. I mean, I know it still is clips to the movies and stuff, but I mean, damn, I did one with Michael Myers. That one was just fine, but okay. But anyway, it's going to go ahead in about a three, two, one. For a doll, the guy does a lot of damage. Don't let that fool you. Don't let that fool you. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks. For Don't let the his height fool you. He will Chucky kills. Murk your ass. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list. We're looking at our favorite slays perpetrated by the psychopathic doll throughout the entire series and ranking them based on a variety of factors, including their creativity and importance to the story. Oh, shit. This man literally had a heart attack. Number 10, Jill, Curse of Chucky. Sometimes all Chucky needs is a bucket of water and a bit of electricity. After oh, some intense build up, I remember the high ass just Chucky sitting down on the computer, on the floor and popping up behind trying to be Joe. sexy and shit. Your ass got this is him standing at the foot of her bed. He decides to forego an extravagant death as he simply ooh, kicks ooh, over a bucket of water. Oh, one of them old ass outlets too. The rest. You know how ass is dead. Look at him. It's a relatively tame kill compared to some of the others found throughout the series. But the God editing, damn. lighting, and music make for a tense and scene, she's out. rather than an overly violent one. Got Welcome the back to the out. world of horror, Chucky. Women can't live with them. Period. <laughs> Number nine, Mr. Sullivan. I didn't Charles like the way he Blake looked on here. Hey, wanna play? Till they took that shit off his play? face. Chucky just loves to play with his victims. Well, he is a doll after all. This drawn-out murder starts when Chucky spills he ain't gonna play the games y'all want to play which causes Sullivan to fall on his ass He's gonna fucking the doll kill then you scares Sullivan with various toys before appearing out of nowhere and smashing him over the head with a golf club Oh damn that kind of scared me next he throws darts into his back and hand Which one was this? Finally Child's Play 3? With a yo -yo. Yeah, it's been a minute y'all don't judge a little goofy but it's all in good fun and it opens the relatively crappy third installment on <laughs> a high note yep just like the good old days number eight wire decapitation oh should i remember that of chucky listen if you want them to work i'm gonna have to take them apart the series definitely took a more they're gonna take your ass apart ride and seed Ew. that doesn't mean they neglected the gloriously violent kills that's they're disgusting just, you know a little sillier Okay, a lot sillier. After Tony Gardner discovers that the Tiffany doll has a spine, both she and Chucky share a kill by decapitating him with piano wire. It's up. Oh. <gasps> Good night. His head Dang. flies at the camera like a 3D movie, and Chuck and Tiff make out while his corpse spews blood behind them. The movie clearly does not take itself very seriously, and while some may lament the gloriously campy scenes, Others, like us, love them. <laughs> Number seven, Dr. Ardmore, Child's Play. Oh, this part. And we're going right back to horror. This part the was just, installment this part had me fucked up as a kid. Others. Like, oh my it God. It is arguably the most horrifying of them. Oh, he did it. Thanks to scenes ah, like this. Ah. After Andy is Face met was and burnt restrained the fuck by up. Dr. Ardmore. Chucky stabs him in the leg before fitting him with an electroshock therapy device. He then, well, fries the doctor until his mouth and eyeballs bleed. This is all done in front of him. I can't even look at that. All he can do is hopelessly stagger away while watching the man sizzle. It's a hopelessly bleak scene, but those are the ones that make for good horror movies. <laughs> Number six, Chief Warren Kincaid, Bride of Chucky. I forgot how he died. Oh. We don't know you get why like, John Ritter agreed oh, to yeah, all the nails movie, or some shit just... at least his death scene kicks ass. After Tiffany tells Chucky to make like Martha Stewart and improvise, because stabbing is so 1970s, he rigs up some nails to the van's now. compartment. When Kincaid notices the nails, Tiff gives the order, and Chucky shoots the nails into his face, killing him instantly. Now! 
As if that wasn't that was some final destination shit. Then makes a not so subtle Hellraiser reference, which every horror fan should immediately recognize and love. Why does that look so familiar? Bride does tread into camp territory, but scenes like this proved that the series still had some good horror gas left in the tank. What do we do with him? Ugh. I don't know. What would Martha Stewart do? do? Number five, factory worker, Child's Play 2. Oh, oh yeah, kids. right in the eyeballs. Talk this one up to sheer stupidity. But that's what After a machine about. breaks yep. down, a factory worker is forced to fix it. Unluckily for Wouldn't him, be me. Chucky is there, complete with a newly fashioned knife arm that he uses to slice the guy across the cheek. Bye bye. He's then strapped into the doll making machine and given a new pair of doll eyes. Okay, this death oh, is cool God. and all, but shouldn't this guy have shut down the machine before sticking his face in there? That just screams unsafe work practices. Exactly. Regardless, it's Dumbass. still a horrifying way to go, and the resulting image is nightmare inducing. Ugh. Number four, Tiffany, Bride of Chucky. Oh yeah. Hey, souls don't Kick just the shit out for themselves, you know. Chucky decides to kill Tiffany so that he can shunt her soul into a doll. And he decides to do this while she's in the bathtub. The kill begins with Chucky rushing in with a knife while screaming like a banshee, only for Tiffany to kick him square in the face. Wow. Despite she her kicked his ass defense, off. Chucky succeeds in pushing a TV into the bathroom, oh, Lord. which electrocutes and kills Tiffany. You think? The scene is a nice blend of horror and comedy, and it perfectly captures what makes Bride such a unique entry in the series. <laughs> he got scared. Number three, John, Child's Play. Oh, this part. Chucky makes a horrifying discovery. This was another part in the first one. Lead. They had me Despite fucked up. Despite being a doll. So he goes to John for answers. After John refuses to give up information, Chucky tortures him by using a voodoo doll to break his leg and arm. We don't know why don't John play that. has a voodoo doll of himself, but... Whatever. Right, that was... Sure, how do you want it? Broken leg? Oh, oh these sounds. The combination of horrific design and grotesque visuals is sure to make anyone wince in their chairs. But the brutality isn't over yet. After learning what he needs to know, Chucky stabs John in the heart, which goes to show what a truly awful monster he is. So long, John. Number two, Miss Kettlewell, Child's Play 2. Oh, he beat the shit out of her. You think this is funny? I didn't do that. After Miss Kettlewell gives Andy detention and throws Chucky in the closet. But I, I low key wasn't mad at this one because, I mean, she got on my damn nerves trying to blame my boy After Andy on everything. After a minute of investigating, Kettlewell is stabbed by Chucky and theatrically collapses into a bunch of desks. That's what you get. Damn. That was dramatic as Chucky hell. Chucky then beats her to death with, with a, a ruler. Stick. Oh, complete with dramatic that was a ruler. from the music and <laughs> shit. aggressive zoom outs from the camera. Beat the Jeez, shit out of her ass. Imagine with that. being beaten to death with a yardstick by a doll. But then again, we don't really want to. Nope. Before we unveil our Give number one, good old ass here woman. are some honorable <laughs> mentions. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh. Oh yeah, I remember that too. God damn it. Ooh. Amazing, isn't it? Yep. Remember that one too. Number one, Maggie. Oh, this part. This part really had me fucked up when I first saw this one. Y'all just don't understand. Series. The process begins with Maggie and I mean she fell out of that damn window. And it ends when Chucky After getting hit in the fucking the head with a hammer. I'm scaring myself. It causes her Ooh. to crash through the window and fall onto a car below. The scene is suitably tense, and the effects of Maggie falling and slamming into the car still look Ooh. great 30 years later. This is also Chucky's first kill of the entire Man. series, so it deserves points for that alone. Sometimes the simplest deaths are the most memorable. Do you agree? Well, let me tell y'all something. I can agree with most of these kills. Like, oh my God. 
especially let me just go back to the first one because let me tell y'all something when i was a kid i wanted nothing like i'm sure a lot of us did i wanted nothing to do with chucky like chucky was terrifying for me i remember there was a movie theater and he was um they had like a picture of him i think this was probably around the time maybe either the bride of chucky had came out or the seed of chucky had came out and just seeing his movie posters and everything it, it i was like i don't want nothing to do with this motherfucker okay like for real i remember when in walmart they had um child's play on dvd just that picture alone like where he was like y'all know that picture the classic picture of him looking evil as he as he um as he did with the knife and all that i was like yo this is terrifying who is this dude i don't want nothing to do with him like seriously and then when i first saw child's play I was probably, yeah, I was definitely a teen by then. Um, the first one, it was just, ooh, ooh, ooh. It was just something else, y'all, for real. Especially when, you know, Aunt Maggie got killed. You know what I'm saying? Like, just bashed in the fucking head with a hammer, and she, like, she got all fucked up that bad that she fell out of this fucking window. Like, that part was so disturbing for me. Like, I know I won't, wasn't the only one. Like, Chucky, y'all can say what y'all want. Don't let his little face and his height fool you. You know what I'm saying? For movie purposes. Because, I mean, people say, Oh, I kicked that motherfucker. Let me tell you something. This was for movie purposes. They had to do something with this film, with this character, to make him as terrifying for children as he can. Maybe creepy for adults, but definitely terrifying and scary for children. Because like I told y'all, when I saw him, when I was a kid, I didn't want nothing to do with it at all but over the years as i've gotten older chucky has became one of the homies and one of my favorite horror movie characters you know what i'm saying because chucky has his own way he has his own swag about him you know what i'm saying like who would have thought you know a good guy dog would be possessed by a man a grown-ass man and now he out here killing motherfuckers like for real you saw if you saw the first child if you if you watched all of them you know it i think i've seen every single chucky movie yep i did it was Child's Play 1, 2, and 3. Ride the Chucky, see the Chucky. Um, what was the next one? And then them other ones. You know, with the girl in the wheelchair, Coda Chucky, the last one that came out, I believe, two years ago, where it's not good guys anymore. But it was Buddy. You know, Chucky was more of an android this time, you know. Uh, his face was a little bit creepy, you know. Uh... You know, this the whole bad plastic surgery and all that. I prefer the way he looked back in the day. But, I mean, I still watched it. I think he has a TV show coming out. And I will probably be checking it out. I just might review it for you guys. Um, especially since I haven't heard any news about American Horror Story. Like, because, you know, obviously what's going on. Ryan, Ryan Murphy was like, I guess we just going to have to wait. So, um, but I'll, I'll still be reviewing that when it does, when we do hear some other stuff about it. But I would like to review the new Child's Play show because I think Brad Dorif is going to be coming back to, you know, play the voice of Chucky's because I had heard the laugh and the teaser and I said, this sounds like Brad Dorif. This don't sound like a new actor. So I might go ahead and check it on now when we get more, you know, details, another, a real trailer this time, not just a teaser. So, um, yeah. But with that being said, if you guys enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, comment below. What's one of the most disturbing kills that you saw from Chucky out of all the Chucky movies, especially if you were like a kid coming up seeing any of the, whether it's like, even out of order. Bride of Chucky, see the Chucky, Child's Play 1 through 3. Y'all let me know in the comments section as well as anything else I can react to for you guys. Hit that subscribe button, follow me on my Instagram, hit the notification bell so you guys know the video up and loaded. And I'll see y'all in the next one. It's Taylor Rain, and I'm out.